Hey guys, it's Friday, uh, 4.40 p.m. It's been a few days since I've uh, actually done a video. Uh, the weather's been so depressing that I guess one takes in that depression along with the weather. <laughs> it's part of, uh, it's dark, wet, and gloomy, and it, like really wet. You know, it's it's been coming down buckets, buckets, thundering, it's just crazy. And it's like, okay, all right, already, we, we got you, we, we got the rain, the grass is nicely wet, and the plants have like soaked it all up, now let's have some sun. I'm dying to get to the beach, but it's kind of weather, it's just, there's no way. Uh, I went out yesterday, yesterday was my birthday, June 30th, and um, I went out biking. And um, I got a, a flat in the rear tire. Luckily, it wasn't far from, I was near getting back home. And uh, so I get off the bike and walk it to the house, put it away. And this morning, I was going to check up on it and see, you know, I've never actually changed a tire in a bike, so I'm Googling and trying to watch YouTube videos to try to learn how to change a tire. Sure enough, there was another flat. The front tire was flat because the bike had kind of like flipped over <laughs> from having no air in either tire. So like, how did that happen? I have no clue. I think it's because I went over some grass and God knows what was on the grass that killed both tires. Uh, the bike's not even like two weeks old, three weeks old. And I got two flat tires. Now I've got to change it, learn how to change it. I've been watching a few videos, just the whole concept of Releasing the brakes, taking out the chain, so you get the, or moving the chain aside, and then knowing how to put it back in, and the tools, and it's like all so complicated. I'm like, why is things so complicated in life? You know, it's like, uh, I think I'm getting old. I'm like really over, really doing excessive anything anymore. I just kind of want to coast. But now I've got to deal with the two flat tires, so. And I haven't been able to run because I've had this issue with the bottom of my foot. I mean, it's like someone out there doesn't want me to exercise or something. I, uh, first it was the Achilles, then the ankle, then I fell and hurt my hip. Now it's the bottom of my feet. I think some sort of metatarsalgia or something like that from not wearing good shoes. I returned the shoes that I had bought. Obviously, they weren't that great and they weren't fitting right. And I think that's what caused the problem in the bottom so of uh, my feet right here on the ball of the foot around the third toe is uh, it's like a burning sensation whenever I step down and toe off and I think because the shoes were a little bit big on me so I must have either pinched some sort of nerve or just created some irritation of some sort anyhow I haven't been able to run which is driving me insane and not uh, that even if I wasn't injured the weather's been lousy I don't like driving in the rain and I don't like hanging around in the rain. It's just, I don't know, I just don't like it. So, I know people run in the rain, they wear their, their rain gear and whatever, but it's like shoes get all drenched unless you have waterproof sneakers of sorts and then it must cost an arm and a leg. So, I'm not running in the rain. Uh, so now the bike is messed up. So all I have left is my rebounder. Bounce, bounce, bounce away. And that's what I did this morning. I'm thinking about joining a gym. That way I have all sorts of cardio equipment that I could use because in the house all I have is the rebounder. And that's okay, but it kind of lame. Right now I need something that's really, really going to make me sweat, you know, and, and get all the out of me, you know, the frustration, the, the sadness, the depression, the anger, the whole nine yards that's inside of me since my breakup, you know, I, instead of getting better with that, I'm progressively getting worse, I think. Um, I, first few weeks, I was, oh, I'm all right, I can handle this, you know, and now it's like, I miss her, <laughs> I miss her a lot, and I'm finding that it's very hard to find people that are as compatible, I mean, her and I, yeah, we had our ups and downs, we have our differences, but we have a lot in common, you know, and, and we do, you know, the 
raw vegan thing and the spirituality thing and the awakening thing and we like to watch the same type of things and we're both pretty much flowers and you know we have a lot in common so I think you guys are going to be hard finding somebody to deal with all my idiocracies and my way of being you know she understood me I understood her we did have you know our little battles but who doesn't Sad thing is, you know, I, I went to see her yesterday for my birthday. She's here taking care of her um, brother's dogs. We had a beautiful time, you know, we went. Uh, she treated me for lunch and uh, had a beautiful time. And, you know, no, no fighting, everything was nice. And you know, I told her how I felt, how I missed her and all that good stuff. But I think she's a little apprehensive and um, she likes being alone now or so she says, and she wants to spend time alone and to learn who she is and, and mend and grow. I guess, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is if she's, um, I don't know, I'm not in her heart or in her head. But, uh, I mean, I understand, you know, if she makes the decision that she does not want to go back with me, and that's, uh, that's fine. I mean, I, I have to deal with my choices, you know. I chose that route, and now it came back and bit me in the rear. So, hey. I'm a big boy, you know. It hurts, but my life has been full of pain, and I'm used to pain, and I'm used to uh, dealing with all the things that life throws at me, whatever curveball. You know, I learn from it. I grow. And that's that. You know, I'm not afraid of pain, I'm not afraid of crying, I'm not afraid of being upset, you know, it's, it's part of being a human, or having a human experience here on this planet. So, I'll just leave it all up to spirit, and that's why we, or what she said yesterday, she wanted uh, to reflect, I'm um, giving her space, we usually talk every night or every other night, and um, letting her think, letting things be, and see what happens. You know, that's all you can say, see what happens. Anyhow, it's like uh, the weather is making it so hard for me because I can't be outside in the garden. I can't work out. I couldn't ride a bike. I couldn't do anything. And the physical activity really helps keep me in check. I need to sweat. I need to feel that activity. And I do have some equipment here in the house, but it's not enough. You know, it's not something that I could really... I don't know. I need more. I need a little more. That's probably my problem in life. I'm always looking for more. That's how I ended up messing up this relationship, looking for more lessons. I tell you, we learn them every day. And uh, yeah, it's part of what it is. Um, I posted a picture on my Facebook account. What I'll do is I'll put a little link on my Facebook or just... Google Mark Angelo Cummings are on the search for Facebook and you'll find my um, my account. Her and I took a picture for Pride Magazine and I uh, posted a picture there in my account. Actually, I could probably put the link of the picture down below so you guys could see it. And we do make a very cute couple. And, uh, yeah, I know. What can I say or do? Anyway, enough of that. I don't like to uh, drown in my own sorrow or do the violin of life thing. Hope you guys are going to have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. I have absolutely no plans except tomorrow my parents, my brothers, uh, my mom and dad, which aren't together. My mom is remarried. My stepdad, my sister, my brother, and his wife are coming to celebrate my birthday and also my sister's birthday, who's July 5th. We've always celebrated as kids together. So they're coming over tomorrow. We're going to go out to soup tomato to have some salad. I'm about to run out of time. Anyway, that's the only plans I have this week. Everything else is up in the air, and I don't know what I'm doing. So, yep, hope you guys have a great one. Love you, and always remember to love yourselves.